Hello friends this is local guy welcome to my channel today i am going to show you how to connect two routers to increase or extend wifi range here i am going to connect two home wifi routers on one network using wired ethernet lan cable in previous video i have shown how to connect two routers wirelessly to increase or extend wifi range link is given above on i button and below in the description by connecting the two routers wirelessly it's working quite well but because of so many wifi signals are there in my neighborhood my place become wifi crowded it's affecting my wifi router signal and also there are many walls which blocking my wifi signal because of all this scenario wireless link between root router and extender router is not so strong so devices connected to extended router facing speed issues To overcome these problems I have decided to connect two routers using wired ethernet lan cable Here I have two routers black is my root router which is TP link W8970 and white is extender router which is TP link WR841N If you have old router you can use that old router as a wifi repeater or extender Here you can see that My internet WAN cable is connected to WAN port. My root router is already configured. Now we will connect one end of LAN cable from root router's LAN port and other end to extender router's WAN port. Remember, do not connect other end of LAN cable to extender router's LAN port. It will not work. We have to connect it to extender router's WAN port only. My root router is already configured. and its ssid is falcon 1 now log in to root router all details are given under the router itself here my login page is http 192.168.1.1 username admin password admin now under dscp go to dscp settings and enable it leave the start ip and end ip address as it is if you do not want to change So here any device that will try to connect with root router will get IP address from this range only here range is from 192.168.1.100 to 1.199 now go to dhcp client from here you can find extender router's ip dhcp server has assigned ip address 192.168.1.100 to our extender router you can ping that ip to check the connection using command prompt ping 192.168.1.100 you can see that we are receiving the reply now going further we have to configure our extender router here i have reset the router so i can show you the configuration from the scratch first connect to extender router's wifi using details given back side of the router itself here extender router's ssid is tp link e0fa and pin is 7669377 connect to wifi using this pin now open login page details are given under the router itself here login page is http tplink wifi.net or you can also open it using http 192.168.0.1 enter username admin password admin now go to network and select wan select wan connection type as a dynamic ip and press detect you can see that dhcp server of a root router has assigned ip 192.168.1.100 to extender router subnet mask and default gateway is also assigned by root router now go to dhcp server and enable it remember here ip range subnet must be different from wan subnet here our wan subnet is 192.168.1.0 we cannot use that subnet so we have to choose different subnet 
here I have applied 192.168.0.0 subnet. Start IP is 192.168.0.100 to end IP 192.168.0.199. So here any device try to connect extender router will get IP address from this range only. You can see that my laptop got IP address 192.168.0.100 from this range. You can change the SSID name under wireless settings and password under wireless security. Here I have changed SSID to Delta 1. Now reconnect to new SSID Delta 1 using the default pin that is given under the router sticker because I have not changed that pin. Now check the internet connection and yes it is working. If you have any queries regarding the connection then please ask using comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Till then goodbye have a nice day.